Hey guys, how's it going? This is Abel. Hope you guys have been having a good Sunday. It is 11.51 in the morning and I'm at home all dressed up. But the app sailing was cancelled, so um, due to uh, gusty winds. Um, this is the third time it's been postponed. It's been postponed to the 24th of November. Um, and uh, as some of you may know, um, the whole well, the whole reason I was going to Absil was because Steve has been called back to the States and um, he can't Absil for charity, so I was going to Absil in his place. Uh, but by the looks of it, um, he'll be doing the Absil when when the time comes on the 24th of November and that's fine uh, I think it's it's actually better that he does it because it's actually more meaningful um, simply because Steve actually has a fear of heights and um, I thought it was a very brave thing for him to actually want to do um, because well it's for charity his fears embracing his fear and doing something good uh, with it so um, it looks like today it's an easy day for me. Uh, it's really cold, it's about um, 12 degrees. It's only a high of 12 degrees Celsius today, which means it's a little bit chilly. Um, I'm obviously not properly dressed for the temperature, but um, I was going to abseil in this, you know, for the camera. I have decided to um, get kindling because it is freezing. One of those days. It is freezing out there. Golly, it's only November and all the Christmas decorations are out. And I have to buckle down and start planning for Christmas. Christmas Eve party. Every year that's our tradition. Hello! So the day has turned out to be rather icky. It's um, raining. Partially hailing. So yay. This is Tazzy weather for you. Woo! So that was an awesome gym session. This is Tasmania. A moment ago it looked like doom and gloom. And now it's rained. It rained so heavily. Um, I had a message on my phone from the Weather Bureau um, stating that there's a chance of snow. When they say chance of snow, means it's on the mountain. And now the rain has stopped and the sun's out. It's bright and sunny now. So, can you understand why sometimes it's just so annoying? Yeah, it's just, it's, the weather is just so erratic that you. you Fuck, it's, it's Tasman, you can't plan for anything. Hi guys! So, I am now back home in the house and we're about to um, make us some dinner. Some lovely red wine garlic infused steak. Now for this, we I really should prepare this. Then again, this is not meant to be a proper cooking video. So for this, it's going to be a simple dinner because um, it's dinner for one. It's sad. It's really sad. Now for this we're going to need um, got the scotch fillet. There you go. As you can see it's in a little ziplock bag. Uh, what's in there? That's like I think about uh, half a cup of um, red wine, um, garlic and black pepper marinated that or left it marinating for oh wow hours because yeah it's like an ad hoc thing and next we need I'm having broccoli because I love broccoli it's gonna be with steamed vegetables carrot and a potato potato so you can see it's very simple stuff and of course I like my meat with gravy so I'm gonna go with this mushroom and garlic sauce now, see that juice in there? Yeah, so you're not going to throw that out. Um, you're going to use that and combine that with that. And of course, you need a glass of wine. 
for drinking. Because um, cooking without alcohol is boring. And also, by the way, I got the dogs, the boys, you know, wet food. They usually don't have wet food. We only give them dry food, but I thought I'd give them a treat today because, I don't know, they're my cute little boys. And look at them. Whatever did they do to deserve this treat? Oh my goodness. So we've got, I've got my um, potatoes going, as you can see over there. And I've also got um, my carrots and broccoli all chopped up and put into a little Pyrex bowl. We're going to nuke it. So we're not going to do that just yet because the vegetables will take very quickly. That's a little uh, saucepan of um, water. That's for the gravy. Uh, notice that I just put very little bit of water so um, um, you know it doesn't become too too runny. Remember, it, it's it's okay to start out thick because you can dilute it with water. You can't do the reverse, so just be cautious about that. So now we take a little steaky thing. There we go. And um, we'll just grab our skillet. Let's just see if I can find it. There it is. So we grab ourselves. Oops. A little skillet like so. Um, is so not well thought out. All right, so we grab a little thing of a jiggy. Grab that mushroom and garlic. I love mushroom and garlic. So yeah, so we let that go a little bit. I'm sure everyone knows how to make mashed potatoes, so I'm not, not even gonna bother. But um, that one, on the other hand, it's different. So what we're gonna do right now is um, remove the beef from the Ziploc transfer the, um, the juice into the saucepan. Yeah, so we're gonna now increase the heat for the little saucepan here. As you can see it's got the juice and water in it. We're gonna drizzle some olive oil. Well, you, you could use butter, but, um, or margarine, but Also, I did not add any salt to the marinade for the beef because the red wine infused in it will give its give its own flavor. So um, I don't want to overdo the flavors. Plus, like if it's not salty enough, I can always add more salt. I can't, I can't remove salt. So I'm gonna add this in to our combination of water and red wine, garlic, and black pepper. So that's all going very well. Oh, we need a whisk sauce as it's going. We don't want it to be plumped up, so we're gonna have to just a little whisk like so. So it also has black pepper in it, so it's kind of like a black pepper with mushroom garlic sauce. Let's turn down the heat so it doesn't cook too quickly. Now that seems to be going rather well. Simple stuff. Um, it's not difficult. Just turn that off. Um, we can check on the potatoes to see if it's um, cooked through. Not good yet. Leave that for about two to three minutes. Meanwhile, let's see what's wine. Let's just see. We're gonna flip it on the other side. So while that's happening, we can prep our plate. So there we go, we have our vegetables that are done, boiled vegetables in the microwave. So six minutes was pretty good timing. Um, so they look nice and soft and we're just waiting on the potato again and then because our steaks in there, you can see it. No. It's in there. It's just being kept warm. And there you have it. 
ladies and gentlemen, my steak. Mashed potatoes with greens and carrots. That looks pretty awesome. I'm starving. I'm gonna have to leave you now because I wanna eat. So I hope you guys liked today's video. And if you're gonna try this um, simple recipe, well, by all means, go ahead. Just remember, I'm not a professional. It's just a random thing I threw together. And um, also, well, there are no measurements, really. Um, I create as I go. And uh, if it doesn't turn out right, I'm sorry. Don't blame me because, as I said, I take no responsibility. I like how I like my food. So, well, yeah.